SpaceX is in huge trouble as the Chinese along March 9 has become quite the threat to their Starship after it was redesigned. The Long March 9's redesign, which took quite a bit of inspiration from the Starship itself, is now a far simpler design than it ever was, going from a three-stage and solid motor design to a two-stage launch vehicle. Sounds familiar? Well, that's because China literally copied the Starship's solution and, amongst it, many other aspects. And with funding from a country that's as economically stable as China, this Starship knockoff might be an even better spaceship than the original. Now, it needs to be mentioned that China's space craze began in the mid-2010s, which is when they started developing and investing into the first ever booster rocket. Initially, China's design had a three-stage design, with solid boosters being used. This heavy lift design is eerily similar to NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS. What? China copying the West? No. Now, since SLS is far more complex than it really needs to be, and since SpaceX's Starship uses a far simpler and far easier to develop two-stage system, the Chinese have decided to ditch the three-stage design in favor of the latter, just like with the Starship. You see, one of the staples of the future of space exploration is reusability, and at the current, the Starship poses the best answer to how to make spaceships as reusable as possible. Over the past few years, China has addressed the benefits about going fully reusable too and incorporating reusable components for the Long March 9. However, no official data or info on the changes has been revealed. Up until last week. You see, China officials have recently revealed the Long March 9, which has now fully abandoned the three-step design and now looks like a carbon copy of the SpaceX Starship. The first stage of the Long March 9 now utilizes 30 YF215 engines, which will allow it to be fully reusable. This, of course, took inspiration from the Starship's own first stage, which utilizes 33 Raptor engines. That said, even the engine itself looks like it copied the Raptor's engine, as it's a full-float stage combustion engine that uses methane and liquid oxygen as a propellant, just like the Raptor. However, the Long March 9's engine produces only 200 tons of thrust, which is 80 tons less than the Starship's engine. The second stage is also designed to be fully reusable, and funnily enough, it looks even more like it was copied from the Starship. Heck, just to look at the flaps, they are literally in the same exact position as on the Starship. Now, truth be told, we can act surprised about this, because, as established, this isn't the first time China copied the US, or anyone for that matter. However, what is surprising is the expected first launch date, which is set for the early 2030s. Now, this might seem like a lot of time, especially considering the fact that the Starship is getting more and more advanced with every single day, and especially if taking into consideration the fact that the SLS has already been on an actual mission, that one being, of course, the Artemis mission. However, the truth is that this is a very good result, and a very ambitious project for a country that is still very early into the space race, and hasn't had a head start like the US or Russia. Elon Musk has actually recognized this. In fact, he commented on his X account that he thinks China is smart to aim for a fully reusable rocket, and that other countries too should accept this way of thinking due to how fundamental of a breakthrough a two-stage rocket ship for multiplanetary life is. You know, for a person who is known for ridiculing his competition, it was refreshing to see some kind words, especially for a country that is a direct threat to the US tech-wise. Now, truth be told, this is because China is directly copying him, which allows him and SpaceX to have a far bigger foothold amongst his competition that are still slow to embrace this simplified approach. 
In fact, China and their various startups and companies all seem to take direct inspiration from SpaceX continuously. Space Pioneer, one of China's most notable aerospace companies, is developing their Tianlong 3 rocket, a vessel that is practically identical to the Falcon 9 from a technical standpoint. Oh, and by the way, after the Starship's fifth flight, which was a success, a Chinese startup under the name Cosmo Leap announced that they are already developing an all-new rocket named Leap, which will be able to land using a chopstick tower. Identical to the one that SpaceX used on the fifth flight. Now, if this is true, why doesn't SpaceX sue them, you might ask? Well, that's because they can't, as the Chinese aren't outright copying their design, but rather, mm, well, taking influence from SpaceX. Essentially, what the Chinese are doing is closely monitoring what SpaceX is doing and directly learning from their mistakes, as well as applying the American company's logic for their own spacecraft. They aren't copying the designs blueprint to blueprint, but rather just concluding what has been done on them and what is what by closely inspecting how the rockets and ships behave. It's a monkey see, monkey do kind of situation, which is ultimately acceptable. In addition to this, even if they were stealing it, China's patent protection is extremely weak for foreign companies, which is actually why China got known as the land of copycats for the last half a century. And additionally, SpaceX and Elon will benefit from this too. You see, with the Chinese working on practically the same platform as SpaceX, if they at some point develop something more advanced than SpaceX, Elon will be able to integrate the same feature into his own design. And if that wasn't enough, if China retains this kind of practice, they'll eternally be at least one step behind SpaceX, which is, of course, beneficial for Elon's company. Plus, it's always healthy to have some kind of competition, as this might push both SpaceX and Chinese companies to give it all at an even faster pace than ever before. Think of it like the Cold War era space race, except this time you have an American private company going against Chinese ones. Unfortunately, there are more than a few issues that have risen with Chinese companies in the past, with the most prominent one being their complete incompetence to deliver a functioning product. Many of these startup companies are failing and failing miserably. For example, take a look at the aforementioned Tianlong 3. Despite being one of the most awaited spacecrafts made by China, and despite it being, well, a fairly simple and conventional spacecraft, especially compared to something like the Long March 9, it is yet to have a successful flight. In fact, earlier this year, the Tianlong 3's first stage managed to explode after it unexpectedly lifted off the pad, consequently losing control and inevitably crashing. And why is that? Well, because sometimes, as good as they look, these Chinese knockoffs are exactly that. Knockoffs. They're haphazardously built, they exist to get government incentives that are plentiful in China. Now this is only counter beneficial for China as, by applying this kind of malpractice through copying and faking it till they make it, the only thing that they're achieving is furthering the gap between SpaceX and them. At the current, it is projected that China will have to work for another five years, up until 2030, before they achieve the same level of technological advancement and autonomy that SpaceX has now. And that means that SpaceX will be, once again, in a drastic advantage over them. That means that even though the Long March 9 seems like a very interesting proposition and a good form of competition for SpaceX, it will still have to prove itself and for that, we have to wait years on end. As a result, it's best that China finally drops their copying practices once and for all and finally start investing into developing their own technology. Sure, it might cost more in the long run, however this way they're only throwing wads of cash at a fire pit and expecting it to go to the moon. Of course it won't, as designing a spaceship just by taking a glance at your competition simply won't work. However, tides might turn, as even the US has problems on its own, and the biggest of them is internal competition. 
You see, instead of working together to create the best possible solution for space conquest and, most importantly, conquering the moon, both NASA and SpaceX seem to push their own ideas and agendas. Elon is pushing for the Starship, which, albeit has more potential than the SLS, is still a fair bit early in its development, whereas NASA, albeit recognizing the potential of SpaceX's design, still insists on working on the SLS and is throwing a lot of money at what is considered to be an inferior but ultimately better developed project. And you know what's the problem? It's not money, money is just paper with some ink on it. The problem is time. You see, the first nation to establish a colony on the moon will also most certainly be the first one to start exploring and colonizing our own solar system, or even further. This is because the moon is full of stuff that is invaluable for further rocket development. Stuff like ice, ores, and above all else, a noticeably weaker gravity, which would be ideal for assembling and building ships that are extremely large. And with that in mind, China needs just an additional step in a time when the US is at a delirium, and they will therefore get a competitive edge over them and overtake them in the moon conquest race. All in all, even though this doesn't seem like important info, and even though one might joke that China is still the cesspit of knockoffs, the truth is that those days are long gone, and that China even though still behind SpaceX and NASA, is coming eerily close to them, and might even overtake them in the foreseeable future. And what do you think? Is China really that close to creating their own version of the Starship, or is this just fluff made up to get some government money? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.